This is the 2019 Kia Telluride, brand new vehicle for Kia, more of a full-size SUV, larger than their others that they have right now, so this is in their full-size uh, segment. Uh, MSRP starts at $33,690 and up to $43,490. Has a 3.8 V6, 291 horsepower, 262 pound-foot of torque, and a CDT transmission or an eight-speed automatic transmission. It does ride on 20-inch alloy wheels. It does have available all-wheel drive. It has a wheelbase of 114 inches and a ground clearance of eight inches. Maximum cargo volume with all the seats folded. Uh, second and third row is 87 cubic feet. And this does have the power lift gate. See the LED tail lights and the new Kia design language. This is the Telluride. I like the uh, waterfall type of uh, tail lights there. You see it's, it's uh, only single exhaust, but it does have dual outlets. Again, 3.8 liter V6. And you can see the Kia design language here on the side, and it kind of mimics their grill with this little detail piece here. Give you a quick shot of the interior. Nice satin brushed handles. I like the gray color on this one. Looks like it does have the sensors to lock and unlock the doors. Looks like LED uh, fog lights, and you see the Tiger grill for the front of the Kia. And that is the 2019 Kia Telluride. And take a look at the uh, driver's door here. You do have about a 640 watt sound system on the target. Down here you've got your power seats and power lumper on both sides. You have really nicely designed <coughs> seats here. Ventilated. Yeah, but it's, it, it looks different. Okay. You know, you can see, you can see. Take a look down here. You got some basic controls right down in here. Those are fuses behind there. Quick shot of the interior. And we get on the inside. Nice set. You've got analog gauges left and right, and then you've got a driver's information uh, system in the middle. You have, this happens to have the, uh, I believe it's a 10.25 inch display in the middle here. And then you do have physical controls as well down here for at least your modes and your VOM and your power. And then some of the settings there, I can't turn it on to, to tell you what they are, but I'm assuming they would scroll back and forth between menu items. Um, down here you have your climate control. This is a uh, tri-zone temperature control. You've got heated and cooled, or heated and ventilated front seats on both sides. You have a, uh, you can put this down and you can uh, just put it up there. You've got uh, wireless charging down here. You've got USB ports. You have got a second USB port there and a 12 volt outlet there. Moving down here, you have your drive to drain system. You have your auto braking on or off, parking assist, uh, your camera view angle, and uh, auto hold, and then your physical electronic parking brake. Interesting design here. You can kind of see the grab through handle here on both driver and passenger side. You're hanging on for those rough rides. All right. Let's take a look at the top here. As with both cars we've seen this year, it again comes with a, a sunroof. And then in the back, it has another sunroof. All right, so here we are in the back of the 2020 uh, Telluride. And you have a nice trim right here. It's interesting, it's, it's not a shiny surface, it's more of a dull wood look. It looks very elegant though. Nice uh, little pocket storage down there. Uh, powered uh, folding seats in the rear. We do have a climate control system right up in there, as well as your 150 volt uh, outlet down there, and another 12 cup holders in the rear. And then, Seat back pockets on both sides. Okay. 
from the uh, from the back of the Telluride, you do have power adjusting for your uh, second row seats. And the uh, speaker My system and storage down here, the USB there. But the uh, the third is um, is a manual pull down storage. But it gives you a nice flat floor, and then if you want more storage, you can physically uh, push the buttons back here and lower your second row as well, which is a nice feature.